Solar Scooters Eclipse 2.0. The 2.0 iteration of the Eclipse dirt bike by the British Solar Scooters Company is here. The newcomer boasts a revised design and improved specifications, but retains a competitive price tag. The two-wheeler comes with all components required to register it for public road use. In the US, riders could be using it under the M1 and M2 licenses, while European and UK riders will operate under the L1e motorcycle licenses. Owing to the use of carbon fiber elements in the frame, the bike weighs only 138 pounds and can sprint from 0 to 30 miles per hour in just 3.6 seconds. Such zippy acceleration comes courtesy of a mid-mounted electric motor with 10 kilowatts of output that's transferred to the rear wheel via a chain drive. Depending on your needs, you may order the bike with either 19-inch enduro or 16-inch supermoto wheels. Moreover, the available full suspension system could be adjusted for either road or off-road use. Finally, the dirt bike is equipped with a 72-volt, 45-amp-hour battery pack, which could provide up to 60 miles of riding and needs 4 hours to completely restore its charge. The speed-craving riders may also want to check out the Solar Eclipse Race Edition. This special offering brings a more capable motor with 15 kilowatts of peak output, a 65-mile-per-hour top speed, and three tire options. 19-inch Enduro, 16-inch Supermoto, and 16-inch Carbon Fiber. Weephead F1 The South Korean manufacturer of electric scooters with alien-looking designs, lots of RGB lights, and potent motors has recently presented a new model called WePad F1. Despite being labeled by the manufacturer as a bicycle and equipped with a set of pedals, this new product offers specifications comparable to a pit bike. The F1 is based on an aluminum alloy frame with a matte coating that gives it a unique look and uses a rear hub motor to ensure a 50 mile per hour top speed. To endure such speeds, the manufacturer introduced motorcycle grade fat tires, robust hydraulic brakes, and a full suspension system with oil shocked absorbers. According to official range estimations, on one full charge of a 60 volt, 30 amp hour battery pack, you may cover up to 75 miles in motorcycle mode. In the bicycle mode, you may put to use a 7 speed Shimano shifter and a multi-level pedal assist system to cover distances up to 125 miles with electrified support. Niu RQI the city-oriented A1 legal motorcycle is Niu's first try in the e-motorcycle segment since this brand is primarily known for making e-scooters. The electric heart of the RQI bike is represented by a 7.5 kilowatt mid-mounted motor with a chain drive. The powertrain will bring you to speeds of 31 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds and top out at a speed of 68 miles per hour. Niu RQI draws power from two 72-volt, 36-amp-hour battery packs that are rated for 125 miles of riding. The batteries are removable and are placed vertically in the so-called fuel tank area and take seven hours to be recharged from a domestic power outlet. The two battery units account for 105 pounds of the bike's overall 410-pound curb weight. RQI received a decent set of motorcycling parts, namely an inverted suspension fork, a front brake caliper with radial mounting, dual channel ABS, and Pirelli tires. As for the high-tech components, you can count on full LED lighting, a TFT dash that is used to activate launch and cruise control systems. Switch between different power modes and display output from front and rear security cameras. Speaking of safety and security, the bike is also equipped with a keyless ignition, GPS tracking, and a steering lock. Grit Motors GR1T With a weight of 154 pounds, including 2.1 kilowatt-hour battery pack, Grit Motorcycle is one of the lightest offerings on the modern e-bike market. This model was developed by a German startup and can be ordered either in a street legal or an off-road setup. 
The street legal setup comes with three powertrain options, 4, 10, or 15 kilowatts, depending on your license. Suitable for beginner riders, the 4 kilowatt powertrain offers 28 miles per hour speed capabilities, while the top of the line A2 compliant model is good for 15 kilowatts, 184 pounds feet of torque, and 60 miles per hour top speed. The list of standard components includes an adjustable front and rear suspension, front and rear disc brakes, and 14 inch supermoto wheels. The off road setup gets a ground clearance revision from 280 to 380 millimeters introduces an adjustable O-Lean suspension, 21-inch front, 19-inch rear wheels with Pirelli Scorpion tires, and a motor with a variable output. In the Eco mode, you can ride at speeds up to 28 miles per hour, while in the Performance mode, you can gain access to the peak output of 15 kilowatts and reach 60 miles per hour. V-Moto Stash The new city commuting bike is brought into motion by utilizing a powertrain duo, consisting of a 9 kilowatt hub motor and a 74 volt 97 amp hour battery pack. Once fully charged, this 337 pound model can provide up to 111 miles of riding in eco mode, which equates to riding with an average speed of 28 miles per hour. Please note that the bike has 14.4 kilowatt peak output and is capable of reaching the top speed of 75 miles per hour. However, riding at higher speeds drains the battery at much higher rates. Luckily, the charging time from the standard outlet will just take five and a half hours. V-Moto Stash is rolling on a set of 17-inch wheels, a hydraulic dampening system, hydraulic disc brakes with ABS, and is capable of climbing hills with 27-degree inclines. Untitled Motorcycles Death to Petrol In our previous videos, we've already featured several unique electric motorcycle builds by the Anglo-American company called Untitled Motorcycles. Today, we'd like to briefly mention one of their most recent builds called Death to Petrol. It's a no-nonsense ultralight motorcycle suitable for city commuting. It has a wide tubular frame, a brace monoshock swing arm, 17-inch wheels, a supermoto-style seat, ISR brakes and a suspension setup borrowed from a 390 Duke by KTM. As for the powertrain, it was sourced from a Suron dirt bike and is represented by a 5 kilowatt electric motor with a chain drive and a removable battery pack good for up to 60 miles of riding. In terms of performance, you can expect a maximum speed of 55 miles per hour and wait for 4 hours every time the battery charge needs to be replenished. Steel Ride 1. After reading Steel Ride's official press release, we got the impression that the frame is regarded as the most high tech component of this scooter like minibike, since its creation involves the use of specially developed steel fold technology. Described as industrial origami, this technology uses metal bending instead of welding, thus producing a more rigid frame structure. In terms of performance, this scooter-like motorcycle relies on a PMSM hub motor with an integrated controller and regenerative braking technology. The motor's nominal output is rated at 6 kilowatts, while the torque parameter is set at 155 pound-feet. To achieve 60 mile per hour speed capabilities and 75 mile range estimations, this two-wheeler was equipped with a 51 volt battery pack with 5.1 kilowatt hours of capacity. The battery is supplied with a 1200 watt off-board charger that can fully juice up the battery in 4 hours. Steel Ride 1 offers 5.5 inches of ground clearance and is suspended by an upside down front fork and single rear shock absorber with a multi-link system. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. 
If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. Thanks once again and till next time.